welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja Devi. National Clean Air Program was launched in 2019. We have completed four years since its launch. Now, in today's episode, we are going to assess the effectiveness of this program as well as other initiatives. Are there any challenges? We will also discuss that in brief. So, let us move ahead and talk about this in detail from the perspective of GS Means Paper Third and also from the perspective of films. So, National Clean Air Program, which is also known as NCAP, it was launched by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change in January 2019. It was the first ever effort in our country to frame a national framework for air quality management. That means to manage the level of pollutants that this country is emitting. And for that, we needed a network. So, National Clean Air Program was launched for 131 cities, which were falling behind. Now, it also is very mandatory for you to know from the perspective of films examination that NCAP had time bound approach. That means it becomes necessary for us to assess if we have given certain time to any kind of uh, mission, we have to do the assessment because that is going to reflect in your question papers as well. Moving ahead now, if we talk about the objectives, it seeks to cut concentration of coarse particulate matter, which is the particulate matter uh, of diameter 10 micrometers or less, PM10. Fine particle, particulate matter of diameter 2.5 micrometer or less or PM2.5. This is much dangerous than PM10 because it lodges into our, uh, you can say, lungs and bloodstream and that causes a lot of pollution in our own body. And this was, uh, this was said to be done in a time bound manner. That means it had to be reduced by at least 20% in the next 5 years with 2017 as the base year for comparison but it was later on updated. Now recently the government of India set a new target of 40% reduction in particular matter concentration in cities covered under the National Clean Air Program and this was to be done by 2026 so there was a revision as well. Moving ahead if we talk about the objectives it covers 131 cities but at some places it is given 132 cities but I checked with the Hindu um, in two different articles of the Hindu it was given 131 and it was recurrent. So you can say 131 cities okay. So it covers 131 non-attainment cities which were identified by the CPCB. Who identified them? The Central Pollution Control Board okay. So remember what I said right now about the 131 cities. It was notified by the CPCB under the Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act of 1981. Uh, actually, we are talking about those cities which were falling behind. And these were notified by the CPCB under this particular act. So, there is a list of pollutants under National Ambient Air Quality System, uh, which, you know, which measures the performance of the cities on the basis of the pollutants which are given over here. So, if a city is falling behind on this platform at this level, then they will be notified as under this particular act to be taken care of, okay. So, particulate matter 10, particulate matter 2.5 is there, SO2, NO2, carbon monoxide, NH3, ozone, lead, benzene, benzopyrene, arsenic and nickel. So many pollutants have been given under NACs, okay. Then objective of this NCAP was to first that ambient air quality monitoring network across the country had to be augmented and profiled properly. Second, to have particular efficient data system so that policy makers can rely upon something in knowing which cities are not, you know, up to the mark when it comes to measuring these pollutants and which cities are. Then also to manage them feasibly for prevention, control and abatement of air pollution. So, for all these objectives, National Clean Air Program was launched in January 2019. What are the target levels? Let's understand them. See, the annual prescribed, average prescribed limit for particulate matter 2.5 and particulate matter 10 has been given. For particulate matter, it should be 40 micrograms per cubic meter and for particulate matter 10, it should be 60 micrograms per cubic meter, important for prelims, remember. And approximately rupees 6,897.06 crore has been already disbursed to the cities by the government 
in order to ensure that administration of this particular fund that the government has given them is being done in a proper manner cpcb was called to coordinate the program and basically cpcb looks at cities particular matter 10 levels it doesn't take into account the particular matter 2.5 level which is much more dangerous so there could be an anomaly when it comes to the final result moving ahead now particular matter 2.5 i will monitor that i have already told you because why there is a lack of equipment mostly because of the lack of equipment this is one of the primary reasons cities so were required to quantify improvement which to had to be started from 2020 to 2021 and they required 15 percent and more reduction in the annual average particulate matter 10 concentration and a concurrent increase in good air based to at least 200 otherwise they would be categorized as low performance and the center's disbursement of funding will also be reduced so that is why it is important for the cities to perform up to the mark okay Moving ahead now, how effective has NCAP been? Let us see that. The Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air produced a report in which, uh, you know, there was the understanding of how cities are performing. Under this program, NCAP, the cities were expected to sign an agreement between State Pollution Control Board, urban local bodies and the centers. So, all the cities have done that. But only 38 cities out of 31 cities managed to meet the targets for fiscal year 21 20. 37 cities have been complete have completed the source apportionment studies that means from which source the pollutants are in, getting more encouraged okay and then no city action plan had been updated with information from these studies these 31 37 cities did nothing when it comes to action plan so, okay, you have got the sources of pollutants, but what are you doing to mitigate them? That has not been produced as of yet. India, according to this report, will need to install more than 300 manual air quality monitoring stations per year in order to achieve the goal of 1500 monitoring stations by the year 2024. But only 180 stations have been installed as of now, that is in the last four years. And according to the Union Ministry, Union Environment Ministry, 95 of the 131 non-attainment cities covered under an NCAP, they have witnessed an overall improvement in PM10 level in 2021 if we compare them to the 2017 level. 20 cities including Chennai, Madurai and Nashik, they have met the national standards for annual average PM10 concentration. The problem is that we do not have the PM2.51. Cities that showed overall improvement in PM10 since 2017, uh, pardon, includes Delhi, Noida, Ghaziabad, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Bengaluru, Chandigarh. You can screenshot this because it could be asked in your preliminary examination. Moving ahead now, if we talk about Delhi specifically, the PM10 concentrations, it has reduced from 241 micrograms per cubic meter to 196 micrograms per cubic meter base year 2017 calculative year 2021 moving ahead now has ncap managed to reduce pollution that is available through ncap tracker which was jointly launched by climate tracker and respire living sciences and according to the tracker the national capital of delhi has ranked the most polluted in 2020 with an annual average pm 2.5 concentration of 99.71 microgram uh, then most cities in the top 10 most polluted list of 2022 were from the indo gangetic plain then all three of bihar's non attainment cities which include patna muzaffar nagar and gaya they now feature in the top 10 most polluted cities that is on the basis of pm 2.5 levels remember this as well moving on now, if we have to talk about other cities, 9 of 10 cities, which were the most polluted in 2019, they have reduced their PM 2.5 and 10 levels. This is a good news. Also, in September 2022, the Center for Science and Environment brought out a report, which was based on PM 2.5 levels. And only 14 of 43 NCAP cities registered 
a 10% or more reduction in their PM 2.5 and uh, PM 2.5 level only between the years 2019 and 2021, so two years gap. Only 43 cities were considered as only. They had adequate data to scientifically establish a long-term trend from 131 cities. So you can see, importantly, the data is also not efficient. These are more than half of them are data deficient cities. So what are, what is the administration doing there? Moving ahead. Now, if we discuss the 46 non-NCAP cities with adequate data, non-NCAP that means which are not covered in their NCAP, which have adequate data, 21 have recorded significant improvement in their annual PM 2.5 level. There were 16 NCAP cities and 15 non-NCAP cities that registered a significant increase in their annual PM 2.5 levels which near identical numbers. So, we can say that yes, NCAP might have been successful in understanding the sources of pollutants in disbursing finances. But we can also say that they, there has not been any sort of significant difference if we compare them to the non-NCAP cities. Okay. Moving on, now if we discuss other initiatives, there are many other initiatives which have been launched by the government. Your homework is to know about them all in detail, M maintain a copy, small copy in detail, you can write the keywords bullet by bullet. Suffer is for measuring the pollution in metropolitan cities, which was introduced by Ministry of Earth Sciences. It is indigenously developed by Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology. So remember that. Okay. Other than that, we also have air quality index, which gauges the pollution with respect to eight pollutants. PM 2.5, PM 10, ammonia, lead, nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxide, ozone and carbon monoxide. Then there is graded response action plan for Delhi. This is much seen when October kicks in, when double burning and Diwali is on the, uh, makes the pollution level increase and also because of the lack of proper wind system in that weather system in Delhi and NCR region, this kicks in. New commission for air quality management is another thing. Just be mindful of this. You have to maintain a copy for yourself for this. Okay. A small one page would also do, not a copy. Moving ahead. Now let's talk about those who have answered the last question correctly. B was the correct answer. Daman Preet, Sachin, Archana, Sudha, Rupil, Aarti, Unstoppable, Sumit, then Disha, Devendra, Sunita, Himanshu, Simran, Shri Nivas, Vikas, Akhil, then Akhil Tej and Akhil Kumar, different people. Tejas, Shanti, Dharani, Ujjwal, Preet, Anbarasan, Saloni, Ashish, Swarnaprava, Vidushi, Sairam, Rahul, Anandraj. Thank you so much for answering this question. Answer the next question again for a similar announcement. Thank you so much for watching.